Hi guys, last time out with my Flash 170CX uh, Air Sport kite, stunt kite from Gunter. We were having trouble because the uh, rubber T pieces here have completely um, I don't know what the best word is. Given up. They're split. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Let's poke something through so we can see what we're talking about. Yeah. They're um, split. They've got no strength. On both sides. So, I'm going to try and get them off and replace them with some fuel piping or hose. I've got two sorts here. I've got this clear stuff that's um, strengthened with the binding or the weave in it. Or I've got this black stuff that's got the same stuff inside it but you can't see into it so easily. I've just tried this and it's actually, I've, I've got a rather thin um, centre in it. Uh, this is 6mm, which would be right because they're 6mm spars. I think this one must be 5mm. So we'll go with this stuff. It's the right thickness. All we do is we cut a piece <laughs> about that sort of length. And we do actually put a hole in it. So the spar goes straight through and the other spar comes in at an, in at an angle. The first problem will actually be getting the old pieces out. They've got little rubber grommets, top and bottom, which are actually glued in place. Now I've already worked on this one and I've been able to release it. I gently put my pliers around it so I didn't actually crush the bodywork or the tube and then tapped down on it till it loosened it. So this one is now free. I'm trying to remember which way around the spar um, the lines go. I, I think I might just put a tag on them, but tape so I know which one's which. I just happen to have a handy little bit of duct tape laying on the table so I've marked the top one or the nearest to the red I suppose, red to red. Okay so now we should be able to slide this all the way out It's got a stopper on it, uh, which is glued in place. All right, let's go the other way. There's a new stopper on that end. got marks on them where they were glued in place. What we're going to have to do is that's going to have to be that shape and cut a hole or melt a hole in the back of it. I'll go and use my nail on a stick, hold that up like that and try and melt a hole in the back of it and see if that will work. I've got the fan on in the kitchen there because this is going to make a smell melting these holes through. But that's what I've done. I've done that side and that was quite a struggle. I'll have a go at this side. The battery went on the camera just now because it took me so long struggling with that. So 
I've already loosened the little rubber grommets on here by tapping them gently with my uh, pliers around there. Not crushing the tube at all, just gently around there and tapping it down with a piece of wood. So they're now free to move. So I should be able to slide it out. I've marked the top line with a bit of red, just in case I get them confused. They slid off okay, but these are a lot harder to get on. Well, it's back together. These are much more flexible because they're fiberglass rods rather than carbon fiber tubes. There's only one way to find out if it works, isn't there? Fly it. But We've got no wind at the moment. So we just have to wait.
we'll see. That's what we're replacing. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.